we were very successful last year, but we're going to build off of that basically by improving on uh, the numbers. Basically, you know, you look at the stats from last year. We did extremely well. We raised a lot of numbers when it comes to hitting efficiency and our digs and our serving percentages and things like that. But we just need to continue and improve on that. Um, we made a lot of errors last year when it comes to hitting and in serving. So our focus right now is to try to eliminate a lot of the errors, which is impossible. You can never eliminate an error, but um, and, and still be. Uh, competitive and still go after it, but we want to try to uh, limit the number of errors that we're committing, but also still increase our efficiency and, and our aggressiveness. The season's motto is uh, unfinished business. Um, the reason why we chose that is based off of last year, uh, we, we put ourselves in a situation to where we, even though we did finish higher than we ever have, we could have done even better. Um, the game was in our hands in the semis last year, the MEAC uh, championships, and we let it slip. And, and the, the girls this year, the returning athletes, have a huge chip on their shoulder right now about that. And, and so do the coaches. So we're working uh, relentlessly, basically both in the gym and in the office, and the girls are working hard off the court uh, to make sure that never happens again. Um, this year we're considering a championship year. So everything we do is is with that big chip on our shoulder, making sure we understand that you know last year will never happen again. We're going to put ourselves in that situation and succeed. We lost a huge piece of our program uh, graduating last year with Charlotte Armstead. Um, through her years here, she's risen this program to uh, levels that they, we've never seen before. And now we're expected to replace her. And even though I don't think that's technically possible because she was just a, a unique player, we do have a, quite a few players on our roster right now that could rise to the rise to that challenge and, and try to lead by her example. Um, right now, Jessica Johnson is playing extremely well in practice. She started last year as our second outside hitter, and I can see her easily sliding into that uh, top outside hitting role. Um, we have a couple players coming in also in other positions that takes a lot of pressure off of other players, like Dominique Parker, who's come in and showed tons of tons of potential right now and could basically find herself in a starting position in the first tournament of the year. Um, you know, players who've come back who did extremely well this summer, like uh, Coralie, um, has done extremely well. Uh, Janae Frazier clearly worked hard over the summer. It's obvious, everybody recognized it. So, with that level of intensity during the off season, bringing it into the, into the current season, I feel like even though we did we do lose, miss out on a few of the players that graduated, I feel like we're able to start right where we left off and continue to grow. Uh, losing leaders like Nicole Kessner and Charlotte Armstead, um, who have been leading since they were freshmen. Um, so that's four straight years. And with the Cole, it's been five years of great leadership uh, coming in and being able to help organize the program, both on the court and definitely off the court as well. They're part of the biggest driving force behind our academic success. And so with both of them leaving the program, you know, you're looking for the next great leaders, on, and we have them. Uh, uh, Noelle Eagles has been fantastic. Um, she's been more outspoken than she ever has been before. Um, she wants to see this program. She's dying to see this program reach that next level. And she's demanding out of the, uh, not only the freshmen, but also the returners that, you know, there's only one expectation here, and that's to win. Um, and that's not just winning in the, in the wins and losses column. That's winning in the classroom. That's winning on campus. That's winning when we're off campus. Like, everything you do is at the championship level. And so Noelle Eagles has done a fantastic job. Kylie Them has done fantastic. She's worked hard all summer long, helping keep this team working organized and keeping them in the right direction. And, and with not just those two, we have a ton of girls that all are focused, all of them lead by example, um, and have done a fantastic job. And it makes my life as a coach a lot easier because I, I can take a lot of pressure um, off of them because I know they're handling a lot of their own business and I can kind of focus on some of the more important things and making sure that we are able to be successful on the floor. Um, this team, this year, this team has proven to be a, a much more of a type of veteran type team. Uh, not only because of the 10 returning athletes that we have, even though we have six new players on the roster, but those all 10 of those athletes uh, are contributing um, in every single way. They, their their work ethic on the court has been fantastic. Um, they've all come in very prepared. Um, their attitude towards what our goals are right now is more intense than it's ever been. And then, of course, they've more organized than I've ever seen a, one of our teams. They come in, they immediately know the process, they immediately know what is expected out of them, and they're demanding of that amongst themselves, not just the freshmen, but of each other. And, and everybody's responding to each other. There's no, um, no drama, no cattiness, or anything like that. They, when somebody 
steps up and says something, everybody's been listening. And it could come from anybody at any time, but it, everybody's listening to each other. And, and this is probably the tightest group that we've ever had here in my, in my few years that I've been here. This is probably the most exciting, um, tight group uh, that I've seen and they all love each other clearly but they all push each other beyond what their comfort levels are and they respond to it. Um, we've added six newcomers to our program this year and that is almost half of our entire roster so where you would assume that would kind of change the dynamic of our team. Um, our upperclassmen, the 10 returners that we have, have done a fantastic job um, basically guiding them and, and showing them how things are done here but of all of them have come in right away and proven to us that they belong here. Um, the work ethic, uh, the attitude, the competitiveness is everything we expected out of them and, and I'm very happy with our recruiting class. Um, we've added a lot of size. Dominique Parker probably being one of the tallest ones at six foot two um, has proven that she could find her way on the court almost for the first weekend alone and then uh, we've had a lot of size like Monique and De'Aaron and uh, gives us a bigger presence at the net. Um, you know, we have Tori, who is probably the most well-rounded player out of the group. Uh, we have Alex, who defensively can come in as a setter, but has been very strong defensively. And uh, Sydney Daly has been fantastic. She's uh, probably one of the most physical out of the group, um, very athletic and very competitive. So out of the six, I'm, it's almost a team on their own. Um, they've actually given themselves their own little nickname and they're a tight group. So I'm very excited. I mean, the future is very big for our program with this six, and uh, it'll be a good group to build our future around. Our goal this year in recruitment was basically to find some size. Uh, we knew grad when we graduated Charlotte and Beatrice that we were going to lose a big key to our size at the net and our physicality at the net. So when we went out recruiting, we not only needed to replace those two, which is already difficult by itself, but add on to it. Um, so though we have Gota coming back and Coralie who display a lot of size at the net, we needed people to contribute to that. Uh, we needed a Dominique Parker who's coming in and done fantastic for us. We needed a De'Aaron and a Monique and, and Sydney Daly and people like that who were able to come in and, and show a lot of physical pre presence at the net. Um, we know going forward as we continue to grow as a program, um, winning the MEAC championship is obviously a huge, huge goal for us. But once we go past that, we're going to have to compete at that next level. Uh, the teams that won the MEAC in the last couple of years had to go on and play Florida, Nebraska, and UCLA. And so for us to do that, we've got to be able to fight, uh, kind of like fight fire with fire. They've got a lot of size, they're very physical, and we need to be able to match that.